has been really hard. <laughs> and and here's Grizzle. Hi guys. I knew this was going to be hard. We hadn't vlogged seriously since basically like February when we went to Florida. And to be honest, getting back into any routine has been really hard. <laughs> And, and here's Grizzle. Whenever I talk, Grizzle like always has to come and see what's going on. So if you guys are ever wondering why I always like say Grizzle interrupts me and stuff, it's because that's what he does. And if, if you're anybody that I've like had a Zoom call with, like a bride or something or um, family even, if we ever like have a Zoom call or have like a FaceTime call on the computer, Grizzle will for sure make his way into the video because <laughs> he is so obsessed with just like, I think, I think it's just because I talk because Trevor and I like sit here and like work, 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 work all day. Like Trevor's down in the basement working. I'm sitting up here and I just work, work, work and don't say anything. And as soon as I start talking, Grizzle's like, what's going on? Something must be happening. They are speaking words. I have to be involved. <laughs> But anyways, back to what I was saying. He, he definitely lightened the mood. I was feeling very like somber there for a second or like serious. But what I am about to say, I guess it is kind of serious. We've been struggling to get back into a routine like I mentioned. And I'm sure there's like a lot of people out in the world kind of feeling the same thing. Um, this year has been really weird and really hard and very different than a lot of other years. And... I feel like life is never not like changing and I just sometimes want to feel normal and regular <laughs> and I feel like I have not yet felt that in my life yet <laughs> when I so there's like school and then there's college and then I went to work a corporate job in Kansas City and then I met Trevor and we moved and we owned a house, and then we moved here to Indiana again. And then ever since then, it's been a lot of change because we've been like trying to figure out um, what we're gonna do here, basically. Um, if you haven't watched our last vlogs, Trevor and I worked a corporate job with like a really steady income in Kansas City, and then we basically just up and moved back to Indiana with no real solid plan. And that has been fun. <laughs> It's been great, but it's definitely like a lot to do that and we're we've lived here for over a year now and things are still very much like up in the air constantly changing. We do whatever we can. I focus on LVP, but like Trevor just like works doing this and works doing that and we just like pick up jobs whenever whenever we can. So stuff is crazy as normal. But now it feels especially crazy just with everything that's been going on in the world. And we've been really struggling with routine. And I think you can tell that in our vlogs and how like sporadic and random our vlogs are sometimes. And I thought that daily vlogging in July would be that bump that I needed to like force me to get back into a routine. And it's been an adjustment for sure. So you'll notice that um, we skipped a day, but I'm going to try to double up and catch back up. Um, I really do want to post like all 30 or 31 days in July, whatever it is. I think it's 31. I really want to post all 31 days in July. Like I want to have 31 vlogs in July, even if they don't come out when they were supposed to. <laughs> um, so we might have some days where we're going to double up trying to catch up here real quick. I think we're like two vlogs behind. Um, you will, guys won't really notice a difference, I don't think, but I know as far as like editing and posting how quickly I need to get things out. But all that to say, I've been feeling really like weird about vlogging and about sharing again because it's a, it's a lot to come back to and just to be like, here's my life. Let me show you all of it and share it and like this is what we're doing and bringing camera out and about and around and stuff. So, um. I want to do it though and honestly I was almost ready to quit <laughs> we barely started and I was like I don't want to do this I had a really rough day kind of had like a breakdown like a lot was going on and 
I felt unmotivated and uninspired and I almost quit. And then I'm like hesitant to say this because I'm pretty sure she's going to be watching, but one of my brides that we did a wedding for, um, Emily, she posted a YouTube video, her and her husband, Tyler, and I just loved it. And seeing her get so excited to post that and seeing them make a video and be new to YouTube and be excited about it made me excited and reminded me like why we do this. It can be hard when Trevor and I have been doing this for like two or three years to like be bummed about like, oh, like we're not famous. Oh, we don't get a whole bunch of views. But it's about us documenting memories and moments. And I love that I can go back and watch videos from before Trevor and I even owned a house together. We'd been dating only a few months when I said, hey, um, I really like YouTube. Can we make a YouTube channel? And I can watch those moments. I can see days when I know that Trevor and I's relationship is nothing like it is now and feel those feelings again that I was feeling in that moment and just watch our relationship grow to being boyfriend and girlfriend, to being engaged, to owning a house, to being married, to moving. Just, I can watch those things on our YouTube channel even if we don't have a bunch of views. It's for me. And seeing Emily and Tyler make their video reminded me what it was like to be excited about YouTube again, to just want to make videos, to have those memories and to make them and to put them on the internet so that they're there forever. And it made me so happy and that's why I got the camera out again right now today to talk to you guys. I literally had almost committed to quitting this daily vlogging in July thing and they just re-inspired me to keep going and so thank you Emily and Tyler if you guys are watching <laughs> I know you said that you do watch so now I'm suddenly embarrassed <laughs> but I'm so excited that they started a channel and it's really a passion of mine to show others that you can document that your life that you can start a channel that things don't have to be perfect or curated or gorgeous or anything like that that you can just document your life and it can still be like a special thing and that means a lot to me so seeing them start that and seeing them just make a youtube channel was so good i just loved it so I guess now I will do kind of what we did before where I have some old footage that Trevor and I filmed and we never posted in a vlog. We actually have lots of footage like that <laughs> where we filmed things and didn't upload it. So these next clips are actually from May 17th. Um, we talked about our worms. <laughs> in case you guys don't know, Trevor and I have worm composting in a bucket in our basement and we've had it for quite a while. And we talk about that and we repurpose some of the worm dirt to take care of some of my plants. And we just filmed that. So I wanted to share that with you guys here for the last couple of minutes of this vlog. Um, and just, just leave you with that. Um, just leave you with the idea that we're trying sometimes and we have feelings about our content and we know it's not always like super interesting and flashy and showy and like curated but we film a lot and we like to film and we like to document things and we appreciate you guys watching and we love it when you guys get inspired by what we create so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and being here and enjoying just listening to our daily lives, as boring as they may be. <laughs> um, because documenting these moments are so important to us, so I, I don't want to stop. I really don't. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. There is gonna be more content after that, but I wanted to give you a proper goodbye. 
a proper thank you for liking and subscribing. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Okay, here is the worm content. <laughs> Bye. I already used some dirt. Okay, are you taking that? Up? You want to take that upstairs? Or you can do it all down here. Well, probably be best to do it. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Here we go. It's gonna make a mess. Yeah. Yeah, we could take it upstairs. Yeah, let's take um, it upstairs and I can. The worst part is I really don't know what I need. Normally, I just take like a big old scoop and just start doing it. But I feel like we need to do is get like a some sort of bowl sifter. Or, like, poke little holes in this. Sure. To where, like, wormies wouldn't be able to get out. And mm -hmm. just slowly, like... The only Shake thing is, out. Yeah. The only thing is, I don't... I don't know. Like, you can buy sifters for them, but I just feel like it's, like, extreme for the worms. Because you just, like, shake them all up. <laughs> they're worms, baby. I know. Which is worms. funny coming we from me. respect <laughs> Yeah. So, guys, this is our compost. We haven't really shown it in a long, long time. Yeah. You might remember, but when we first started our vlog channel... Back in like 2017, yeah, 2017, we had this when we lived in our first apartment together. Not this exact compost, but we started our first ever compost then. And then we moved into our house in Kansas, and then we ha we made them again. A different was it different worms or the no, same it was the worms? Same one. The same ones from our apartment. Yes. And then when we moved back here to Indiana, we actually just dumped all of those worms into the backyard, into where, like, a spot was that didn't have, like, grass or anything. Yeah. We just dumped the worms, let them be free, dumped the dirt out. And then now that we've been back here in Indiana again, we have made our own worms. This was when we moved into this apartment, so, like, in August of um, last yeah, this yeah. past year yeah. and um they are now like it's really good dirt that's what happens when you compost you can add eggshells which our worms aren't a huge fan of the eggshells no they don't like them that's what yeah. there's a bunch laying yeah around. and then you add like all kinds of different like scraps from your food and stuff and then they eat on them we have to we got something growing apparently. Yeah, I and, think it's onion or potato. And they poop and make fantastic dirt for you. They turn this dirt into like really good soil. Yeah. So I have some plants that need some like, special love and care. And so I don't know if you can tell how dark it is, but it's and just like the texture and everything yeah. is like I mean, so just, much better. Yeah. So dirt. let's take it upstairs though, because it's like kind of dark and dreary down here. <laughs> So this planty here, you can barely see me, hi guys, <laughs> um, has lived with us from every apartment we've ever lived in and it is now leaning over as you can see because Grizzle used to love to come sit in here when he was a little baby Grizzle. So let me show you. So this is what it looks like right now. Obviously the dirt is dry. I have not watered them in a while, <laughs> but uh. he is falling over. He's not even like held up. The pot itself is holding him up. So we need to get some more dirt in here, stand him back up like a normal true plant, um, and then get him watered and nice and refreshed. Oh yeah, look at here. I used to have this um, paint stick in here when Grizzle first did it to try to help hold it up. Yeah. And it didn't help at all. <laughs> if you want to see the worms a little bit better, let's see a few right there. We'll focus, see him moving around. And so, and the worst problem is trying to grab a handful here. And you can just see them crawling around everywhere. Because worms, focus worms, are asexual, and which means they produce, like they don't need extras to produce, they produce themselves. But, They'll only produce as much as the environment allows them to. That means they only reproduce until they feel like they can't reproduce anymore without dying. Meaning they can only go up to whatever their container is, they can only reproduce up to a certain amount in that container. So it's nice to ultimately get the dirt out, get all the good dirt out, and then put new dirt in to have them work on that and make it poopy. But ultimately what we want to do is be able to have multiple of these. So at some point, we'll take half of the worms, put them into a brand new bin, and then they will, both groups will reproduce up to that amount again. So we'll have double the worms, double the dirt, all that good stuff. But 
sometimes it's a little hard to do, especially getting them started and acclimated. It's kind of like fish. You kind of have to be careful with how you acclimate them, how much food you put in there, what type of food you put in there. So hopefully soon we can get up to two groups working at the same time. What do you think, Ash? Ash, no, don't do that. Stop playing with the worms, Ash. Hey, stop playing with the worms. We're okay with a few worms, but we also don't want to take all the worms out. Otherwise, we lose all those worms. Now, it's okay if the worms are in there because they will make air pockets and stuff, which will help your plant grow. Look at Ash. I know. Get out of there. <laughs> She's playing with the dirt. <laughs> Get out of there. So that's why I'm like slowly siphoning out the dirt is I want to make sure that we don't just get a whole bunch of worms because you know we want to keep them in here so they can keep pooping dirt. Okay. Thumbering. First load of dirt. Hopefully minimal wormies. On to the next one. I just put the paint stick back in with the hair tie that's around it because now that it's standing up, um, it's been leaning over so much that all of it is growing this way. So we need to like support it so that it stands up straight. The dirt will help like a lot in keeping it upright, but it also is gonna need some support because it is like top heavy and <laughs> very much leaning the wrong direction. So we will get him fixed up here in no time. How's it going for you, babe? It's going. What you got in there? Dirt. Dirt and worms and dirt and worms and dirt and worms. Yep, and the occasional um, non-eaten eggshell and... Vegetable and everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead, dump her in. Where are you dumping it? Right there? Don't push, don't push him over. You could always just dump it in on one side and then kind of move it around with your hand. Thank you for doing this, lover. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to get my hands dirty. Mm -hmm. You're the real MVP. Okay, I put him back in here. His paint stick is like this, and he actually looks very unhappy because he curves this way. So I made him curve in towards the wall so that he eventually turns himself around, goes towards the windows again. But yes, he's very much loving <laughs> the wall right now. Um, but hopefully, I don't know, maybe in a few days, a week's time, he gets himself turned around and back towards the light. So Trevor's about had it with going through the dirt and the worms because it does take a while. We're gonna do one more little container and add some extra dirt to this guy here. He hasn't been happy for a little while either. So we're hopefully gonna make his day with some more dirt.